Hi, everybody who may watch this video in the future. <laughs> um, today I'm going to be showing how to make chlorine dioxide solution, otherwise known as CDS. So I just have my supplies laid out here. We've got distilled water, and then I have a sealing mason jar with the clasp. Then we have our shot glass, one cup measuring cup, um, a 20 milliliter syringe, 10 milliliter syringe is fine, um, but I have 20 and it works well. So, And then I have my solutions. These bottles are almost empty. I think they'll be enough, but I have these as well as backup. Um, so to make the solution, um, first we take our jar <clears throat> and then take one cup of distilled water, approximately 125 milliliters. And we fill our jar. I'm going to hold this up so we don't have any spillage. So there we have our one cup of distilled water. And then we take our shot glass. This one has a small white paint line on it. The, the cleaner the better, just in case the um, paint or the writing on it would be cleaned off, but I prefer a clean shot glass. That one works. The white line is above the water line, so that should be fine. So we place the shot glass in the middle, and careful not to have any water slosh into it. I'm going to take, first I'll take the sodium chloride. Um, these are solutions that I made from the raw materials myself. This is about 22.4% and hydrochloric acid about 4%. So you can, the syringe doesn't fit in here so what I often do is just pop, pop it out, hold my finger over the bottom and then I'll hold this this way. So I'm going to fill up about five milliliters of the sodium chloride. And about there doesn't have to be exact, but I go roughly 5 milliliters. I like to keep a paper towel handy too to wipe up drops, but I forgot to grab it. Maybe one of my backstage helpers can get it. Thank you. <laughs> um, so there's 5 milliliters of sodium chloride in the shot glass. Careful just to go straight in the shot glass. Next we'll do um, some, some recipes or demonstrations I've seen do 5 milliliters of the hydrochloric acid as well, but then the reaction takes longer depending on humidity, climate, temperature, all those things. Um, so I like to, I found what works for my situation is to do five to 10 milliliters then of the acid. So I will go about 10 milliliters of the hydrochloric acid and drop that straight into there. Now you see the shot glass there is not quite full and it's already turning yellow. Close this because of the smell that will be coming out. Now the shot glass is yellow. Over time, the chlorine dioxide will bubble out and then dissolve into the distilled water. So this I usually leave 8 to 12 hours. You can go longer, but usually by 8 to 12 hours it's it's good. And you're looking, when you take it out, um, you're looking for the colors to be about the same in the shot glass and the water around it. Um, so. We will let this set and come back and potentially do another video at the next step. Um, the next the next step, so 8 to 12 hours from now, take it out. Um, I'll go over that step, but then you just basically repeat the same thing. Dump out your shot glass, 5 milliliters of sodium chloride, and then 5 to 10 of the hydrochloric acid again. And then after that second time, then you should have roughly 3,000 parts per million of the chlorine dioxide solution. Um, in your distilled water, and that will have just the pure chlorine dioxide in the water. It won't have any of the um, byproducts of the reaction. Um, so that is my basic intro for now. Thanks.